Hi, first grade. Today we're talking about story sequence. Um, I hope you just finished watching Patches Lost and Found Read Aloud by Stephen Kroll, illustrated by Barry Gott. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really liked the illustrations in this book and how Jenny used those to tell her story. Um, so I hope that you will use this graphic organizer to write your own story and um, or summary of Jenny and Patches. Um, on your graphic organizer, it will ask you to write the title of the book at the top. So you would write Patches Lost and Found. And your graphic organizer is slightly different than mine. Mine has um, transition, or yours has transition words in it um, that begin with first, and then next, and then and last. So those will help you with the writing process um, to transition from one sentence to the next in your paragraph. And today I'm just gonna um, talk about graphic organizers and how I'm using that to sequence the story, um, Patches Lost and Found. At the beginning of the story, um, it's asking this happened at the beginning. You wanna think about what happened at the beginning of Jenny's story. Um, what did she do at school when she came home from school? What happened? and what were the events um, that led to the whole story and the ending. So at the beginning, we know that Jenny's at school and her teacher tells them that they have an assignment and that assignment is to write a paper. And so um, Jenny has a hard time getting started with her story. And um, she first <clears throat> has a school paper to write. And then her mom says, Jenny, today when I went to go feed Patches in his cage, he was missing. So the first thing you could say was that she has a paper to write and then she discovers that Patches, her guinea pig, her pet guinea pig, is missing. What happens next in the story would be that she makes posters to help find Patches and she looks all over for him. So you could say that Jenny looks for Patches and makes posters. And while she's making these posters, um, she also starts to draw pictures of what could have happened to him. And then she hangs those pictures on her wall in her room. <clears throat> so she looks for patches and makes posters and pictures. And she hangs these in her room. Um, what happens at the end of the story or what happens then in the story is that her mom comes in and sees the pictures in her room and says, oh, this is a great story, Jenny. I can see all the pictures. Why don't you just add the words? And then you'll have your story for Mr. Griswold's class at school. So Jenny adds the words. So you could say then Jenny adds words to her pictures. And what happens at the end of the story is that Jenny finds Patches or the neighbor returns Patches to Jenny. Remember he knocked on the door, Mr. Scooter, and he said, look what I found in my yard. He was nibbling my lawn better than a lawnmower. So, um, so Jenny is reunited with her guinea pig or Jenny finds Patches. And finishes. Her paper for school. 
she brings her paper to school and last her teacher is so impressed with her story he has learned something new and that is that um jenny didn't start with the words first she started with the pictures first words later and her teacher is so impressed that she taught him something new she said he says i think we all need to meet patches and so jenny brings patches to school so you could say last, lastly, or last, Jenny brings patches for guinea pig to school. Um, so that would be the sequence of our story. And I'd like you to write your own uh, sequence graphic organizer um, with the one that I've provided for you using those transition words, first, next, then, last. And if you could take it a step further for an advanced level, take that graphic organizer with those transition words and then take the sentences and put them into um, paragraph form. You could type that up and write it back to me or write it in your own words on paper. And um, that would be similar to what we would do in school in your journals. All right, so I hope you have fun with this activity and I hope you enjoyed Patches Lost and Found. Thank you, bye.